quick disclaimer before the video starts, just wanted to let you guys know that I don't work for CASA and I'm not a lawyer, so take anything I say with a grain of salt. It's just meant to be used as a guide, so it's there to open the discussion. So if I've got anything wrong or you want me to talk about anything else, just leave a comment and we'll address it sometime in the future. So thanks for watching. So as everyone already knows, the drone laws here in Australia are as clear as mud. Um, so I'm going to do a bit of a series here trying to uh, explain to you as best as I understand them anyways what the drone laws and regulations are for both hobbyists and commercial pilots because it's split up into two different groups. So the first group I wanted to talk about is the hobbyists because the, the laws that um, uh, regulate them are much more common sense and in real life uh, and many of you may know them already so I'll just rattle them off as quick as possible. So the first law we're going to talk about is the visual line of sight law or rule because it's the most important one for now uh, because it's going to affect a lot of the stuff we're talking about in the near future so we're going to bring it up a lot. Uh, and basically what it means is that as the drone operator you must always keep your drone within visual line of sight and that means that uh, you have to be able to orientate your drone home safely should you lose video connection. And that means that you're not allowed to use uh, any assistance like goggles or, or binoculars or anything like that. So um, the idea being that um, if you can't get it safely home, then it's not very safe. So that's a very important law that you need to pay attention to. Uh, and it also means that you're not allowed to fly through uh, fog or smoke. So that's a big no-no. You've got to pay attention to that one. The other laws are a bit more simple. They're the basic ones like you're not allowed to fly any closer than 30 meters to people. You're not allowed to fly any higher than 120 meters above ground level or 400 feet. You're not allowed to fly above people at any time or any height. Um, you have to make sure you pay attention to um, watching your manners and people's privacy. Um, you also have to make sure you stay clear of controlled air spaces like airports and aerodromes and helipads. Uncontrolled um, uh, airports and helipads and stuff you can fly around those areas but you must give way to manned aircraft um, you must also not fly um, any more than one drone at a time uh, that's a really important one the other important regulation is um, you're not meant to be flying near any emergency service operations like uh, fires or rescues um, you need to leave that to the um, authorized drone crew on the job and um, they'll need to be um, commercially authorized in order to do that. So we'll talk about that a bit later. Um, but if you want any more of this information, it's available on the uh, CASA website. So CASA, know your drone. I'll leave a link um, below. Um, but yeah, that's something you need to familiarize yourself with first. And the reason I'm doing these videos is because the regulations all um, sort of feed into each other in certain ways. So certain things restrict you from doing, well, certain laws restrict you from doing certain things. Um, so we're going to delve more into that in this series. So um, stay tuned to find out more if you're very confused about the drone regulations like most people are here in Australia.